Hello and welcome to another special on Source Wall, and today is extra special because I'm going to be taking a look at a comic that doesn't technically exist, specifically a version of Jack Kirby's grand finale to his fourth world saga, The Hunger Dogs, and even more specifically, the version that Tom Shirley recommends that people should try to read. A version made up not only of The Hunger Dogs itself, but also its prologue story, Even Gods Must Die, and the long lost finally finished On the Road to Armageddon. But maybe some backstories in order. By 1974, Jack Kirby's quartet of cosmic tinged DC Comics, Forever People, New Gods, Jimmy Olsen, and Mr. Miracle, collectively known as the Fourth World, were basically all cancelled. Some of them hung around for a little while longer than the others, but by the time they had started being dropped by DC, Kirby's intent of creating an epic for our times, as the New Gods number one cover so blazingly put it, was over. In 1984, about 10 years later, DC decided to bring the series back as a pseudo miniseries comprised of New Gods reprints over five and a half issues and a final 20-ish page story to fill in the missing final half. What Jack Kirby created instead was a story called On the Road to Armageddon, a sort of prologue to what Kirby intended to be the real true finale, a comic that I believe was then tentatively called Armageddon, the final battle, where Orion and Darkseid would fight to their death. DC wasn't really feeling it. It turns out that part of their agenda with bringing the new gods back and to get Kirby to write some new stories was actually an attempt to get him to basically bring everything to a status quo so that DC could use the property and the characters in a bunch of new merchandising opportunities. The new gods helm season of Super Friends and the Super Powers toy line would come out not long after this. The ultimate evil, dark side attacks. His horde of villains spread chaos and destruction. But now they face first mightiest heroes. The Superpowers Collection explodes into battle. It's Kenner's Superpowers Collection. Figures with power action, each sold separately. Who's that? It's the ultimate evil, dark side, and his henchman, Steppenwolf. Squeeze him, his power action is awesome. Let there no match for Superman or Red Tornado. We shall see. The Superpowers Collection. Superman, Red Tornado, Steppenwolf, dark side, and other figures with power action, each sold separately from Kenner. In the end, on the road to Mergetto was scrapped and a new story titled Even Gods Must Die was instead published, which brought back many dead fourfold characters back to life, with bitingly scathing commentary by Kirby that they were now just soulless recreations spouting catchphrases. But Kirby would get at least a little bit of what he had wanted. Even Gods Must Die was still a build-up story, and Kirby would get his giant-sized send-off. The Hunger Dogs, as it was now called, was a graphic novel in DC's line of then dedicated prestige graphic novel releases. 30% of it was, well, on the road to Mergetto. Sort of. Dialogue, speech bubbles, time, and context pacing had been changed, and pages had been just swapped around. But it was all there. The rest of the comic was the actual The Hunger Dogs, a story that wasn't the end-all be-all final battle that fans had been anxious to see, but a somber and hearty affair about the fall of power, the strength found in self-recognition, and the power of the masses. Maybe not the best, most flowing ending, what with the heavy editorial mandates and page reviews dictating many story decisions, but it's good. It works. It's a great thematic underpinning throughout the entire saga that leads up to it. Now all that said, the mystique and mystery behind the full uncut and unedited version of On the Road to Ghetto was a tempting one for many New Gods fans in the decades to come. DC only officially publishing it either in miniature thumbnails or slightly larger but still low quality scans as bonus material in some of their collections. A full set of leaked scans of the unfinished story did make the rounds online though. The pages so rough that notes in the margins were still present, but that was enough to satiate some. Well, with the release of Absolute 4 for Volume 2, DC did what many thought was impossible. They actually finished it, fully edited, cleaned up, restored, and colored. It's an actual new issue of the New Gods, fresh off the presses. But to get to the topic at hand, at long last, in his forward to Absolute 4 for Volume 2, comic creator Tom Scholey offers up a particular reading order, a way to get the most out of material Kirby had to offer for his grand finale now possible since On the Road is complete. Basically, reading On the Road to Armageddon first, then Even Gods Must Die, and finally, The Hunger Dogs minus the pages that were reused from On the Road. In his words, this version of the story hits you in the gut and offers a much more coherent and satisfying reading experience. And you know, he's right, because while On the Road and Even Gods Must Die basically shared the same story twice, Orion rampaging into Apocalypse and a mad dash to confront Darkseid only to be bested and defeated, Sholey makes the point that there is an implicit sense of progression, mainly because the two segments do not share any pages, and because On the Road, in its original form, 
does offer a much needed catch up for readers. It shows how far and how much more diabolical Dark Side and his schemes have become, focusing more on setting the stage and the stakes, with heavy focus on the micro mark of revolutionary bomb technology that Dark Side has developed, with Orion's attempt to ambush Dark Side coming in pretty late and being intercepted very handily. It's a story that is thoroughly not about them meeting face to face and instead Orion learns more about the gravity of the war than he could have previously thought. When the final panel is on the road ask an ominous question about gods and the nature of war with the universe in the balance, the next segment kind of offers the very answer with its own title, Even Gods Must Die. Now knowing more of what is at stake, there is an implicit sense that yes, while Orion is yet again launching another mission, he is now going at it, guns blazing. There is escalation, rising action, and Orion's defeat is far greater. It's got a total middle act energy. In contrast to On the Road, rather than focusing on the physical stakes of the war, as we now know all about the Micromark and its looming threat, we get more insight into Dark Side's emotional instability. So it's not a direct redo of the story that DC rejected, it has an entirely new dimension to offer. The last segment, The Hunger Dogs, is completely changed in this reading order. Like, I can't even fathom the original printed version of this anymore after reading it this way. When you take out like 30% of the Hunger Dogs that is just on the road to Armageddon reused, the Hunger Dogs get so much better. The flow, the pacing, it all becomes so much more clear and fluid as a story. An issue that becomes vividly apparent is that the Hunger Dogs as originally printed, is torn between trying to have the Micromark be an ongoing and existential threat that both New Genesis and Apocalypse are reacting to, and also trying to explain what the hell a Micromark is, how it works, where it comes from, and how anybody even knows about it. It creates a story that feels both messy, but simplistic, short, and yet a slog. But in this version, we've already learned all about that in On the Road. And without the repeated pages, The Hunger Dogs is all payoff. Payoff to the looming resentment from the apocalypse lowlies that Darkseid has been risking with his Micromark experiments on them. And from Orion's open rebellions. Payoff to this mutually assured destruction that Darkseid has forced on both planets. And payoff to what is now Orion's history of repeated failure. Again and again, war has not worked. And so love and reconciliation is the only way forward for Orion. So you know, rather than being lost and jumbled against reworded pages from a scrap story, all this is allowed to breathe and hold the focus of the reader all on its own. Making for finale that is, yes, like Shirley said, more coherent and more satisfying. Because it's now something you can understand and something that has a message that can truly resonate. Shirley makes a fair point when recommending this reading order, that it made sense at the time to not publish on the road and to try and play mix and match up with the Hunger Dogs. And in a way it still makes sense. There's a lot of as published purists out there when it comes to collections and I had nothing against that. But honestly, this version of the story is so good and so poignant that I would rebuy another complete edition if it had the finale in this configuration. But I guess my hastily put together facsimile will have to do. If you have the files, I truly recommend trying your hand at creating your own and enjoying it because it is truly enlightening and it is honestly the finale that with what we have available is what the fourth world deserves anyway thank you so much for listening let me know what you think of all this below uh, like comment subscribe and also what are your thoughts on the fourth world what are your thoughts on the hunger dogs have you been getting the collections with these new reprints and uh you know what have a great day out there and see you again next time